Girl, wash your face. I've got a super exciting book review coming up for you right now by Rachel Hollis. So if you haven't heard about this book, you probably have been living under the rock. I'm just kidding. But uh, so Rachel Hollis has uh, published a brand new nonfiction book uh, a couple of months ago as of the recording of this video, depending on when you're seeing this. Maybe it's going to be a year from now. Maybe it's going to be a couple years from now. But uh, so super, super pumped to do a review on this book. So I will share with you five major lessons that I got out of it. So make sure that you stick around all the way through this to learn more. So my name is Juliana Ostrowska from JulianaOstrowska.com and I help entrepreneurs automate their business so that they can, can create unlimited influence, impact and freedom online. So let's dig right into it. So first of all, I will say I have to give a major, major credit for Rachel because this is probably the first book that I have ever read that made me cry. And I don't know if you're a woman, so let me know in the comments if you ever get like emotional when you're reading books, if there's like any chapters that kind of hit you to the core. So that book really did it to me. I'm not going to say which chapter that was, but um, I'm kind of going to, you know, keep it private. But, you know, if you are, you know, dealing with something personally, if you have something happening in your life or, you know, if there's just something that, you know, Rachel, she gets pretty personal with the book. So I will say that she really had the guts to share, you know, some stories that most people probably would not share in their lives like ever, especially not for the public, not, definitely not in the book that becomes a bestseller. Uh, but, you know, I'm I, I, I just can't stress it enough how like I was I was impressed by you know, the way that she was able to express, you know, what has been going through her life, because I know that there's so many girls and so many women that can relate to this, um, including myself, okay? So I could really, really relate to one of the stories that she shared. So that's number one. Number two, I will say if you, honestly, if you sit down, uh, like, for a couple of hours, if you, honestly, if you just spend a day, you can probably read the whole book in just one day, because it is such an easy read. Um, you know, she breaks everything down into really short chapters to where it's so easy to consume, which I personally think that it is super important for a book, for any book. And then I also like how at the end of each chapter, and you're going to find out about that as well once, you know, you want to get the book, uh, Rachel actually gives you, you know, like what could have helped her in any particular situation. Uh, so I think it's really gonna be beneficial. So I know there have been questions around, I've seen this on Facebook, you know, should men read this book or is it like a totally girl book? I will say in my honest opinion, I mean, obviously, you know, everybody has a different one, but I kind of feel like this book is more driven towards women, obviously, you know, based on the name Girl Wash Your Face, obviously it's gonna be for women. I know there have been some men that have been reading that, but I don't know, like, I just kind of feel like it's so much more driven towards women, but I mean, if you have a wife, maybe that's gonna be helpful for you as well. Again, I'm not a man, so I can't really judge, but I kind of feel like this is still more uh, directed to women. So I will say, like, if you're a mom, this book is gonna be really amazing for you as well, because some of the chapters, I just couldn't really relate to them because I'm not a mom yet. And uh, yeah, so like some of the things, you know, Rachel is sharing, uh, like that Rachel has been sharing, they are, you know, specifically, you know, directed to moms. And if you are, you know, if you have kids, one or more, uh, then, you know, you're definitely going to get, you know, some good inspiration out of that. So, okay, so let's get right into the lessons. I have five lessons that I wanted to share. Lesson number one, uh, you can't take of others if you can't take care of yourself. So I think that is such an important lesson, especially for, for women and for moms to understand, because here's the thing, you know, a lot of the times, you know, women, like, let me know if you agree with this, but we usually try to take care of other people before we take care of ourselves. So, uh, and especially those who are moms, I mean, usually you, take, you first take care of the kids before you take care of yourself. And honestly, I mean, I have friends that, uh, that are moms, and they're saying that, you know, if you are a happy mom, then you, like, if you're a happy woman, then you're going to be a happy mom, okay? So you should take prior, like, put you, make yourself more of a priority, okay? So a lot of the times we just forget about ourselves because, you know, we make those sacrifices for other people. Maybe you're making sacrifices for, you know, to take care of your kids, maybe to take care of your husband or, you know, so to take care of your, you know, friends because I don't know about you, but for me, I have always been... Uh, I don't know the word to the exact word to say, but I guess um, selfless. 
I guess a little bit. If, if that's the word, you let me know in the comments if, if that's the word or if I'm missing something. But for me, I always have been a really helpful person. So if somebody, like if a friend, a close friend is reaching out to me and they're asking me for help, I'm literally ready to drop everything and I'm like running towards them to give them, you know, to give them a hand. Right, so I've always been that way ever since I was a kid, ever since, I mean, I was at school, so like I've always been, you know, super helpful for everybody. So, but at the same time, you know, you should not be forgetting about yourself. Like, you know, even when you are at an air in an airplane, you know, f like the rule is put a mask first on yourself and then on another person. So you have to help yourself first before you help anybody else. All right, so if you like this tip, let me know below in the comments. So, and by the way, if you are loving those book reviews, I've done quite a few already. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any books that you would like me to review. If there have been any particular books that you have enjoyed, or maybe you haven't read, you know, like a specific book. I already have quite a few that I might be reviewing soon. So uh, let me know about that in, in the comment section below. And also subscribe to my channel and, and uh, hit that ring, si ring bell sign. Um, on my channel to be notified whenever I post new videos, which is every single week. So, lesson number two, nothing that lasts is going to be accomplished quickly. Okay, so a lot of the times, you know, we have those big, hefty goals that we're trying to accomplish, and then, you know, things just don't always go quickly, okay? So a lot of the times we have this business idea, or we have, you know, a marketing plan, or we have something, but then, it's, it doesn't usually get executed and it doesn't get accomplished as quickly as we thought it was going to be because what that quote says, um, you know, we under, um, you know, we, we underestimate how much we can do in a year and we, or like we overestimate how much we can do in a year and we underestimate how much we can do in 10 years. Okay. So keep that in mind. So everything that's going to be a long-term success is going to be it's going to take a long time so get some patience and make sure that you are consistent to get to that success that is going to last for you all right so lesson number three uh and this is a good one so i'm literally going to read it for you by not being where you thought you should be you will end up exactly where you're meant to go so sometimes, you know, we're thinking to ourselves, oh my gosh, I'm not in the place where I want to be. But a lot of the times you are in the exact place that you are supposed to be right now, because from this place, you're going to bounce up to where you're meant to go. Okay. So a lot of the times, you know, we say to ourselves, oh my gosh, I'm not where I want to be. I don't know if I'm moving in the right direction. So a lot of, and, and most of the times, you know, you have to trust the process and you have to understand that you know, I am in the right place right now. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be so I can grow from this place to another place. All right. So I'll, I'll read this again. So it sinks in by not being where you thought you should be, you will end up exactly where you're meant to go. So whatever your goal is, you're always going to accomplish it if you stick to the process. So lesson number four, don't set the rest of your life up on a downhill slope because of one hard season. All right. So here's the deal with business and with anything in life. There's always going to be ups and downs. There's always going, you know, it's always going to be like this, like a, like a roller coaster. So, or, you know, like a black and white uh, stri uh, strips uh, or stripes uh, like on a zebra. You know, it's all, there's always going to be up and ups and downs. And some people say, Oh, but when you're making a lot of money or when you have a lot of success, then things are going to be easier. Yes and no. You know, obviously you can't solve a lot of problems when you have money to solve those problems. And that's the truth. However, with more success comes more responsibility. So again, there's always, there's, go, there's going to be hard seasons. There's going to be, you know, setbacks. There's going to be challenges, frustrations, but all of them are going to be testing you to take you to where you should be. So all of them are going to test you and see, can you, can you cope with that? Okay. Can you handle that kind of stress? Can you handle that kind of problem? So that way you can, you know, elevate yourself to the next level as a, as a leader and as a professional. And lesson number five, this has been like a big one for me. So I'm recording this video right now. It is 2008, uh, 2019, excuse me. I just turned 24 years old the other day, like a couple of weeks ago. 
and that has always been a problem for me like this particular lesson really hit home with me and if you're young and you're watching this or especially maybe you're a woman and sometimes you just kind of undervalue your skill sets and your abilities and you know sometimes you undervalue yourself so this has been like a, such a gold nugget so you don't make yourself small just to make others feel comfortable don't make yourself seem small just to make others feel comfortable so a lot of the times you know like i like i'm not gonna brag or anything but a lot of the times i get compliments from people they're saying oh my gosh you're so smart you're so you know you're so talented or you're so natural on video or you're so pretty or whatever else or they say oh my gosh your website looks amazing you know this, this. and sometimes you know I reply things such as, oh, it's not a big of a deal, you know, I just use the template for the website. <laughs> or I would say, oh, don't worry, like, it took me like five minutes. So don't make yourself look small. If somebody gives you a compliment, say thank you really, like, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. So, and that has been a process for me. When somebody gives me a compliment and then a lot of the times I'm just like, I don't really want to like brag or look arrogant or you know like we don't really want that right but at the same time you should really you know give yourself credit sometimes that you know you are doing an amazing work and if somebody gives you a like, gives you a compliment take it learn to accept compliments and learn to value yourself and your work so don't make yourself seem small so there you go those are the five big lessons from girl wash your facebook by rachel hollis so be sure to grab this if you haven't already i'm gonna drop the link below uh so check it out and i did hear that rachel is about to come out with another book girl stop apologizing if i'm not if i'm not if i'm not if i'm if i'm not mistaken uh so we'll definitely be doing a review on that on my channel so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell sign on my channel to get notified whenever i publish new videos which is every single week uh, at least twice a week so uh and uh for more trainings and tips just like this go over to julianastrovska.com and uh grab your free download at the very top of the website and i will see you in the next video bye for now